All right, we're going to set the valve latch on this TW200 today. First off, the tools you're going to need. You'll need a big flathead screwdriver, 10 millimeter ratchet with an extension, 10 millimeter wrench, filler gauges, a 17 millimeter socket, a spark plug socket, and a 5 millimeter Allen wrench. All right, to start off, there's you need to remove the seat in the tank. To remove the seat, there's two bolts. Right, there's one on this side and then one on this side. They're 10 millimeter. You pull them out and then you kind of slide the seat back and it'll come off. And then on the tank, there's like one 10 millimeter bolt right there under the seat. You'll see it when you remove the seat. And you want to make sure your pedcock's off. And then before you remove the tank, you need to take this rubber hose off. Uh, another important thing, make sure your engine's cold when you do this, otherwise it won't be accurate. Alright, we got the tank and seat off. I forgot to mention you gotta pull these side covers out, they kind of snap into the side of the tank. So snap those off before you pull the tank off. Okay, so next we want to pull the spark plug out. Then this, you need your 5mm wrench here. You can pull. There's two bolts here. That's for your intake. There's three bolts here on this one. That's for your exhaust. So we'll pull those, pull the spark plug out. And then we'll pull this little side plug out here. So we can turn the motor over to set the valve lash. And I got a pretty cool trick. So you don't have to worry about being on top dead center. I'll show you guys. All right, we got the spark plug and valve covers off. I forgot to mention, clean up around here real good before you pull that stuff off so you don't get a bunch of dirt in your engine. Okay. Here's that trick I was telling you about. Take your 17 millimeter socket. You got your side plug out. You want to be turning this counterclockwise towards the front of the bike. That's the way the motor spins when it's running. Okay, so now we're watching the exhaust valve. As soon as it starts opening, on. as soon as it starts, just starts to move. There it goes. See it? As soon as it starts to open, we'll set the the intake valve, which is back here. So you need your filler gauges. And I'll meet you on the other side of the bike. All right, we got our filler gauges here. I don't know if you'll be able to read that. Nope. Book specs between two two one thousandths and four one thousandths on the intake lash. So I got three one thousandths right in the middle. And you just want to slide it in between the valve and the adjuster. And you should have a little, just a little bit of resistance. This, I mean, there's virtually no resistance, so I need to tighten it up. So I'll grab my 10 millimeter wrench and loosen up that, that nut right there. And then you screw that deal in. They make a tool for it. I don't, I've never had one. I just twist it in with my fingers until I get it right. It takes a little longer, but it's free. So I'll get my wrench, loosen that up, and then try to set it to three one thousandths. All right, we got the intake set. I got it where a three will just slide in, and a five's kind of tight, so it's probably right around four one thousandths, which is on the big end, which makes me feel safer. So set it wherever you want. Um, I'm happy with that. So now we're going to set the exhaust lash. So we'll come back over here. Alright, you still got your socket on there, counterclockwise. Now we want to watch the intake valve. Let that school bus go by. Alright, so... Continue... To, okay, the intake's opening. We want to go... Keep going. Keep going. Alright, it's all the way open. Now it's coming back around. 
Alright. It's fully closed. I'm gonna back it up just a little bit. There it is. Just barely, you want the barely the intake valve to be opening. Now we can set the exhaust. I think it's between four and six thousandths. That's what the book specs. So I'll check it and see where it checks. If it needs to adjust it, I'll adjust it. Alright, the exhaust was right on six thousand, so I'm gonna leave it. So now we're done. Just put everything back. Pretty simple. Uh, it'd be a good time to check your spark plug gap and before you put it back in. Um, these here, make sure they're clean when you put them back on. And this is for the exhaust. You want the V toward the top. Intake, same deal. The intake you can put on either way, so that's important on that. That one you can only put on one way. Alright. So, we'll button her back up and fire it up and see how she runs. Alright, we got her back together. We'll fire it up and see how she sounds. No funny noises. That's always good. Good news. Cool. You can do that too in about 20 minutes max with minimal tools, so it's not a big deal.